Hey, Tyler in the Bronx, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut prescription lenses for your new Versace 4296, the color GB1, which is the classic shiny black in the 59 eye size. This is your frame as we get started. Of course, I also stock it in the striped Havana and there's also kind of, they call it a sand or a beige opal type of color. But these are the two I stock, but I can also get any other color for anyone else watching. So let me go ahead and begin. I'm going to take out, he's been buying glasses for me for years. And he knows that some of the best styles come as sunglasses, but I'm going to pop out the dark lenses. And I'm going to cut clear lenses for him because for years I wore sunglasses with my clear lenses in them too. So let's begin. This is the one that Biggie Smalls wore in so many of the videos and the pictures that you saw of him. And of course Versace made in Italy. But let me go ahead and begin and pop out the original demo lenses and begin cutting the clear prescription lenses. I'm going to take his frame, put it into the tracing element of my edger and hit start. This little stylus is going to pop up and it's going to go around and it's going to trace this, this side of the, the right side of the frame before moving over and doing the same thing for the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Versace frame and you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. Or if you're 2020 and you have vision insurance or flex dollars, my receipt has my federal ID tax number so you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. Now Tyler, you know you need some prescriptions so that's what I'm going to put in there for you. Of course, you can still get the same savings on your insurance or flex dollars with my receipt too. So, your pupillary distance is 64, which is 32 in each eye. So, I'm going to hit this down and bring that down to 32. And we're done there. Let's go down here and get your lenses prepped. In fact, I don't even need this. You're minus one in both eyes. Minus one, minus one. This one's going to be easy. I'm going to take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Make sure the lensometer is turned on. It is. I'm going to put the power drum on minus one. First, I'm going to make sure everything's zeroed out, and it is. Put your lens in. Find the optical center. I do not have to rotate it because you have no astigmatism correction. And I'm going to put a dot on the center of each lens, which is too light for you to see. So I'm going to darken that here. And we're going to put an R on there for right. And let's do the same thing now for the other lens. We'll put that in there. And put a dot on there. Let me grab a pen that writes better. I'm hoping this one writes better. And we're going to put an L on this lens, which stands for not right. Just like me. Now, if you missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, I know it's bad, but you'll be telling that joke tomorrow. So let's come down here, get your lenses ready. Put your right lens on the platform. Now, this is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I'm going to need to use a double-sided adhesive sticker, of which I've got two up here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to go ahead and stick the first one on that one. Set that up there. Let's go ahead and do the second one. Now, if you notice on the back side is a little silver button. That is a magnet. That's going to do its job twice. The first time is right about now. Pull the... Looking at my Faguzi, it's about that time. So... Now this magnet is going to marry itself to the, something magnetical in the arm. That's going to hold it in place. And I'm going to place that red dot right there. Now this blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. If I were to measure both vertically and horizontally, that blue cross would be right at the center. Where your eye is just inset from there. So I'm going to put that dot right there. And let's see, I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block on two. The right lens, we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Put that on there. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Get that lined up. Now, your pupillary distance is mirrored into your... Let me make sure I can see that. Yeah, that's where that goes. That's where that goes. It's hard to see. There we go. The pupillary distance is mirrored for your left lens. So all I have to do is hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Put it on your kitchen counter. Then you won't need me anymore to make your glasses for you. You can do it at home. The actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right. It's going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center, that little channel, that little valley, 
that's what's going to place the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so now the magnet is going to do a job the second time it's going to hold it in place into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i don't know the machine well enough to call it chuck but there's a corresponding magnet in there to hold that in place i'm going to pull your the shape of your lens up onto the computer and let's see i'm not going to polish the edges these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic or high index plastic or trivex i would select that but we're going to stay with the polycarbonate as i said i don't want to polish your lenses because it's not going to be seen in a plastic frame i do not want to put a bevel on the front surface the convex surface of the lens i only want to place a bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens and that concludes your vocabulary lesson of the day so I'm going to hit that green arrow, which is start in every language. The door comes down, the clamp shuts, and then the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. Going all the way around. And of course, it's going to, that's the shape it's going to cut, and it's going to measure the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Now the cutting wheel is starting to spin. It's going to move into the place and then the lens is going to drop down onto the cutting wheel. Now if you see light flickering in the background, that is, that is just water to catch the optical sawdust as it flies off the cutting wheel. But polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high index plastic, and trivex cut wet. Now water will splash onto the lens for the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle, but polycarbonate cuts dry. Now as I just said, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. Your lens is bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and will never need to be reapplied. Now, the other nice thing about your lenses are they are aspheric. A spherical lens is completely round in every direction and will give you that ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance. The, so not only are your lens is thinner and lighter, but it has a flatter curvature to, to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. So when you buy glasses from people online, they charge you for the prescription, which is no good. And then if you want to upgrade to the thinner and lighter weight lenses, they charge you an upgrade fee for that. And then if you want to upgrade to the aspheric lenses, they charge you a third upgrade fee for that. You get all of that for free simply by buying the frame from me. And of course, you get the Versace box that comes with it. The Versace card of authenticity where you can register your product with Versace some junk mail just because in every language possible because you just don't get enough junk mail in your mailbox at home and of course your Italian leather Versace case with your Versace cleaning cloth of course you're also going to get one of my own premium microfiber cleaning cloths and I also include instructions not only how to care for your eyeglass and lenses but for your Versace case and cloth and for my cloth so they will last you both for years and years. No other seller on the internet is doing that. I also include a photo request to have your picture on the website. And Ty, I'd love to have your picture with you wearing these. Now if you can see water is spraying on the lens, that's just to wash away the optical sawdust. And that little spinning wheel is placing the bevel, the safety bevel onto the lens. We'll see if the lens fits in just a moment. This door will open. I will open it with my mind. You like that, did you? Now I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes a couple hours, but I can do it. I know. I've got another week left on that joke, too. Okay, so I'm going to run my thumbnail around to clear off any optical debris that may still be left on there. I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner and using my thumbs, I push in and the lens snaps in. Let's go ahead and start cutting your left lens. I'm going to put that in for L. Flip that over to L and hit the start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. And then the lens is going to trace to make sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. And of course, you can see as it's going around, tracing the shape of the lens. 
and as always measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing and of course no edge thickness whatsoever even in this large frame that's why I only use the thinner lighter weight lenses so let's go ahead and take this block off it is no longer needed where's my deblocking tool it's in here somewhere here it is here it is buried in here there we go go ahead and take that off pull off that sticker it is no longer needed now let's come down here and verify the prescription of the right lens I'm gonna flip this in there I'm gonna put it in just above that red dot which is the optical center and I'm gonna read the power and I am getting minus one so the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p-t-e-r it starts at zero which we in the business call plano which other people in texas call a city but it goes up in quarter increments so 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 1. so you need four steps of minification for your far sightedness you are nearsighted without your glasses on everything is much too large so when you put these on this will minify hence the minus term it will minify down to the correct size so you have no astigmatism correction which is what makes everything a little bit blurry believe it or not I know it's blurry you're saying it's blurry without my glasses on but things are just the wrong size astigmatism is the fine tune knob which we don't have to worry about now your frame sells for $220 and again it comes with one pair of clear free prescription lenses into the frame at no charge let's go ahead and set that down and just for fun let's see how it looks like in the brown lens just in case you want to buy a second pair i'm going to pop your clear lens out let's take the lenses out of the brown pair pop your lens in and now so that's why i tell people to buy two pair get one pair with clear lenses one pair with sunglass lenses and then you can pop the lens you could have two pair of clear or you could have two pair of sunglasses depending on which one you wanted and if you wear contacts i can include the original lenses so that when you put your contacts in just pop out your original prescription lenses and you can wear these with your contacts now the original lenses that come with this of course you're getting the black pair so let me take everything back out and let's pop this oops I'm missing a lens I'm missing a lens let's go ahead and pop this back in so again this frame comes in a black they call this is not a tortoise they call this a striped Havana it is color code 5143 of course the same model number 424296 I can't see it when it's above my head and again color code 5143 and as always all Versace's are made in Italy all right, Tyler, I want you to go ahead and open this door. It's your first day on the job. Try real hard. Good job, Tyler. You did it. All right, so let me open up the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. And I'm going to dry your lens off. Let's go ahead and take the frame. We're going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down at the nose. It snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take this Chuck off. The block, excuse me, that goes in the Chuck. To pull off that sticker, let's dry everything off leaving that red dot on there which is your pupillary distance we were going to come back down here let's go ahead and verify that this is the same prescription in the left eye minus one look at that i couldn't have cut that any better if i'd done it myself now this is the point in every video wait hang on your pupillary distance is 64 i'm getting ahead of myself i'm gonna turn the card over i'm gonna place the zero against my thumb on your right lens and then when we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 64 millimeters so that is made perfectly now this is the point in every video that I explained that when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there is an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that is because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them look a little optical sawdust still left on there of course what am I doing this I'm a field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works i don't want to send you a defective cloth that doesn't clean oh that looks good that cleans pretty good hang on hang on i see some on the lens there let me clean all that off make sure none of that is still on there again if you ever to take the lenses out here i'll slow it down real again to take the original lenses out if you want to wear contacts or if you want to put the original sunglass lenses back in there 
just turn the frame over. It's, you always press down with your thumb at the nose. So you press, put your thumb at the nasal portion of the lens, put your fingers on the other side so it doesn't fall on the floor. And you can actually torque the frame a little bit. You're not going to hurt the frame by doing this. This is how you mount every lens into a plastic frame. But you're going to push down with your thumb. I place one thumb on top of the other one and push down. Out comes your lens. The reason why I push there instead of pulling on the frame elsewhere, this is the thickest portion of the frame and that's why you never have to worry about breaking it. Some people like to push on the outside, the bottom, the top. You can develop your own technique, but this is the strongest portion of the frame. Now to put the lens in, I rotate it back upwards and I'm not trying to reach across the frame to the empty side. I'm going to work on the side closest to me. I'm pretty much elbows at my side, arms bent at a right angle. You tuck the lens in at the outside corner and as always you just push down with the thumbs. It's always with the thumbs at the nose. Now, but as I mentioned, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So if these are a little loose or a little tight or um, they're high on one side or the other, just stop by your local shop and they'll get it adjusted for you. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Let me take my Versace's off and I'll show you I'm part of that 80%. When I press down on the counter, mine wobble, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Versace what is that? The 3199 and the color I can't see because I got them off. Um, 5118, I believe, which is the royal blue with the Havana bottom, which is just a fancy word for tortoise. But that's the Versace that I'm wearing. I'm going to put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Work on the Versace's that Biggie wore in every video that he did. But I'm going to flip these over, press down, make sure there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Check the tension on each hinge, and that looks good. Of course, this is a banging pair of glasses. This look is really popular now for people from the larger cities who remember the Kazals from back in the old day. Not everyone wants to spend $500 on a pair of glasses. These sell for, what did I say this one sells for? $220 for over half the price of a pair of Kazals. You can have something that's just as stylish. In fact, you can have two pair of these for the price of one Kazal. So you got that going for you. But that's that. If anyone has any questions about what I can or can't do, just contact me through the website um, or just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Tyler in the Bronx, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses for yours and Biggie Smalls, the Versace 4296 in color GB1. This is the 56 eye size for you guys like Biggie who are a little bit larger than everyone else's does come in a 58 eye size. And hopefully everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.